According to the American Heart Association, each year, more than 700,000 open heart surgeries are performed in the United States. Improving the outcomes for these patients often depends on the development of highly specialized tools and surgical techniques. One technique that is gaining support from cardiac surgeons is the use of plates and screws to close the sternum following open heart surgery. In most cases, for uh, access to all parts of the heart, it's important to uh, break the bone right down the middle, uh, break the sternum, uh, do what we call a stenotomy, and that allows us access to all parts of the heart. It gives us access to the arteries that come out of the heart, it gives us access to the veins in the back of the heart, the surface of the heart, and the valves within. In traditional methods, doctors use sutures or wires to close the sternum following surgery. But this technique may present challenges for patients, specifically when it comes to stabilizing the sternum. One of the big problems with um, wire closure of the sternum is that it um, allows the sternal halves to come together, but it doesn't promote immobilization. So for bone to heal well, uh, you have to have the two fragments or the two uh, elements joined together. So if you have even small degrees of movement, there's a lot of pain. Uh, and pain can lead to discomfort and interfere with recovery. Recognizing the need to stabilize the sternum to help promote healing and decrease pain following open heart surgery, doctors from several leading cardiac hospitals, in cooperation with medical device manufacturer Biomet, helped develop the sternal lock system. Benefits of stabilizing the sternum include increased stability, greater strength, and reduced chance of sternal separation. The sternal lock plating system works by uh, uh, getting the bone together and uh, using a system of plates and screws. Sternal lock was the first system to utilize internal fixation, where we use a combination of plates and screws to immobilize the bone in the chest ball. Uh, the previous methods of wire closure have always allowed some degree of mobility or movement which predisposes to pain, uh, can cause infections, can delay healing. So with the sternal lock system we actually have the um, ability to immobilize bone and allow the plating system to help the bone heal much better. Surgeons have been using the sternal lock system since 2001 and since then, over 12,000 procedures have been performed utilizing the system. Dr. Raman adds that the method of utilizing plates and screws is a common practice for surgeons who specialize in orthopedic bone repair. Sternlock is the first system to utilize internal fixation in the chest. Most bone handling surgeons use a combination of plates and screws to fix bone. So we as cardiac surgeons should follow suit and adopt what is uh, evidence-based practice. Dr. J. Raman demonstrates how the sternal lock system works and how it can be used with less invasive approaches. We use plates this way and the plates are anchored using these golden screws that anchor onto the bone itself. If we have to do a mini stenotomy where we're just doing a uh, splitting just a part of the sternum using an inverted T kind of incision. We break this part of the bone and again when we bring the fr fragments back together we fix them with plates and these screws here. Medical device manufacturer Biomed is dedicated to creating solutions and products to support the work of surgeons for fixation of the breastbone after open heart surgery. Biomet was established in the 1970s and has grown to be a large musculoskeletal company with uh, expertise in knee prostheses, hip prostheses, and various products including neuroplating and mandible plating. The most recent frontier that uh, Biomet is innovating in is in the cardiac arena. Steve Wallace of Biomet says patients facing open heart surgery should talk to their surgeon about different sternal closure techniques. Patients that are undergoing open heart surgery should ask their surgeons about the use of sternal lock to fixate their breastbone after open heart surgery. Unstable sternum can result in incidents such as clicking of the breastbone uh, when certain activities such as lifting a gallon of milk, uh, lifting a grandchild, or pushing yourself out of bed are performed. 
Advances in surgical techniques and procedures may support improved clinical outcomes by providing the opportunity for improved bone healing and union. To learn more, visit Sternalock.com.